Here are three quadratics that I see students making the mistakes with the most. The first one, four minus x squared. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do here is actually rearrange this so it's in form of difference of two squares. So if I have this as a negative x squared plus four, it's no longer a difference of two squares. But if I factor out the negative, I now have a negative x squared minus four. Now it's written as a difference of two squares. And now I can factor this as a negative x minus two times a x plus two. The next one is probably so commonly missed, it almost happens every single time we're dealing with factoring quadratics. Students immediately see six, they say, what two numbers multiply to give me a six? Forget about the negative, they say, oh, well, two and three. What two numbers add to give me a five? That's gonna be two and three again. So therefore they say, oh, okay, that's x minus three times a x you know, plus two, since one has to be negative and to give us a negative six. The problem is when you combine these, negative three X plus a two X, that gives you a negative one X, not a negative five X. So what we need to understand is whenever my last number is negative, whatever the factors are, I'm thinking of the difference between those two factors. The difference between three and two is one. So it doesn't work here. What is the other two factors that multiply to give me six? That is six and one. Those have a difference of five. So therefore, if I wanna have a difference of five and it's a negative six, I can go ahead and rewrite this as a x minus a six times an x plus one. The last one, a lot of times students see whenever they see first term is squared and the last term is squared, they immediately think, well, that's a perfect square trinomial. So therefore that's going to be a two x plus three quantity squared. Unfortunately, that only works when your middle term is two times a times b, whereas a represents your first term and b represents your last term. So in this case, if I were to do two, two X times three, that'd give me a six X times two would give me a 12 X. That is not a 12 X. So unfortunately, I need to go ahead and factor this out, which if I want to think about what two numbers, what factors would work, if I did a four X plus three and a X plus three, I can actually factor this not too bad.